YouTube, YouTube, Lisa sharing life stories with you. You guys are gonna kick me in the ass. I didn't take you guys to no stores this week. Do you know why? Do you know why? Because I've been so busy, and it, this is very true. I'm not lying or anything like that. I don't lie, but uh, I look at you like I'm, I'm, like I'm mad. At you, I don't lie. <laughs> like, like um, like you, like you guys are saying something to me. No, what I mean by that is, my mother-in-law. It's not, it's not her fault. Everything she has has set me back. Was her being hurt? Is what I'm trying to express to you guys. On the phone. I'm trying to put a little bit of something on. I don't let's say nothing. But uh, anyways, being on the phone with the lawyers, the detectives. It's been a lot, guys. It, it, I'm not bullshitting you. It's been a lot. And, uh... Nobody else will help. She's got three daughters. No, none of them offer to do anything. So you know what? They ain't getting anything. Well, you know, and it's not for me to say. That's her daughters. I don't care. what She can give them what she wants. But she needs to fix her shit in her house. And I told her, I go, if you get like... If you get like 100000 or $250,000, I want a little bit of money to get a car. And I'm not even saying a lot like... $10,000. I don't think that's obsessive. And she's like, no. And my husband's like, are you kidding me? She wouldn't get anything if it wasn't for you, meaning me. Before, too. That That's another thing. I helped her before. She was not never gonna when the, when the pandemic happened, my mother-in-law was never gonna try to even fill out for unemployment. Oh, I won't get it. I won't get it. I got her $15,000. But yet, she don't want to give me nothing. Yeah, well, you're going to because I'm busting my ass for everything. I got to go see... Uh... <laughs> Look at this shit. Broke right off on my lip. I got to go see her, the human resource lady, on Monday. I just got to throw that whole thing away. What a waste. It was brand new. Never used it. Um... I'm going to go see the human resource lady on Monday and her job. And one good thing that's going to save her a little bit of money, probably like 40, 50 bucks, the, the police officer, the detective, right? He's like, they, no one cares about people. Let's put it like that. First of all, first and foremost. And he's like, Oh, yeah, fax all this shit in. She's got two sets of discharge papers from the hospital, almost like five, no, eight and nine papers each. Do you know how much that would be to fax all that in and then fax all that in to a couple, like, at, at the human resources is like a block away? They're probably like $30, $40. No, I'm taking it there in person. That absolutely... I don't like this either. That makes no sense. Why Why would I do all that? When I can just take it to the one lady and she goes, just get it to me. I'll give you copies of everything. I can take the originals back. And then if the, the detective needs anything, I can give it to... And that's one and done. Let's put it that way. It's one and done and it saves another 30 or 40 bucks. So yeah, and, and, mo and it saves my time. And we got to sign the papers for the lawyer on Monday. We had a long talk with the lawyer on Friday. Yada, 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 yada. So it was good. It was productive. And I cut my mother-in-law's hair yesterday. I worked my ass off yesterday. And my mother-in-law keeps doing stupid shit. Meaning that she sends me to the store. If you're going to keep buying your coffees... Don't buy four at a time. Buy seven at a time to last you for two days. You're getting them black, so nothing's wrong with it. Then I can just reheat it. You She reheats it up, then puts creamer in it. So I don't have to keep going back and forth. Instead of like buying one pack of cigarettes, buy two. Because I bought her a pack in the morning, and then she's bugging my husband, who's coming from Milan, Michigan. It's far. It's like two hours away, two and a half hours away, whatever, to get her another pack on the way home. 
I'm like, do you understand? People are sick of going and going back and forth for you. It's over stupid shit. Cigarettes and coffee. And, uh, oh my gosh, just dumb equals dumb. So, yeah. So, I, I washed all the floors, cleaned that, got two new rugs, like throw rugs are small, three by fives, one for the kitchen and one in front of my husband's bed. I put the old ones that are clean, I got them on the porch for the cats. So they can lay on them some, and when it gets cold, that they sit on them. I try to give them a barrier. I'm gonna. That's another thing I want my husband to do is build a house for the cats. But I don't. Ooh, I'm gonna end up having to do something because I swore I was gonna do something like that—a a big square box and put a heater in it. I'm gonna do something yet. Not too late for anything. But uh, yeah, so I did all that. What? What did I do? I washed all the floors, went grocery shopping, uh, washed rugs, put new rugs down, washed all my husband's bedding downstairs because I sleep upstairs. He, he smokes constantly. I can't be around that. He would wake me up every hour on the hour. Um, took out garbage three times. Uh, fed the cats because I feed cats twice a day. What else? What else? Uh, and when I got done with... And there was other stuff I cleaned and done too. And when I got done with all that, I took... I didn't... Did I take my shower yet? No, I didn't take my shower yet. I was just getting ready to go and shower. I cut my mother-in-law's hair. And I was going to take her somewhere. She didn't want to go. So I cut her hair at home. And I guess it's okay. Uh, but I tried to cut it as neat as I could. And I had to keep moving her in a chair. She's easy to move. Like, I can spin her all around on a chair. She's only 90-some pounds. Spin her. And so I kept cutting it, cutting it. So, And I sprayed it all down. So, yeah, I did all that, too. That, that's, it was a lot. That was a lot to do, guys. Just a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. So, yeah. And then... My husband couldn't get a chance to, and I should, I've never seen him in his car yet this year. I'm telling you, next year, this ain't going to happen. I could care less if they got somebody for this job or not. Oh, and that's another thing. This car I'm supposedly buying from my boss has been nothing but problems. I was almost stranded an hour away in Pontiac this week. It was just horrible. I got all the way there. I mean, coming home, I was trying to get in the car to come home at night, and I got out extra early because my relief came extra early, and I was so excited. Well, that got all ruined to hell. Um, what had happened was uh, I got the key fob wet, right? But I don't know if that would cause the car to go into like theft mode like it wouldn't start when I was trying to start it till the siren went off and then it started I'm like you gotta be kidding me I, I was gonna start crying cause I'm almost an hour away from home my husband goes don't panic If I go, he goes if worse came to worse if I was out of town or something I'd send a cab for you I panic I'm one of those panic persons if I get stranded somewhere panic bad I, I just panic um so, and coming to work this morning, that car overheated on Seven Mile and Van Dyke, bad part of town. It was overheating, like, shut this car off, you're going to do damage. I'm like, oh, my God. So, I'm calling my husband. I was crying on the phone. I drove down the center lane like I was a freaking police officer going 100 so I could get here, not burn up the car, and still make it to work. And I did because of God's help. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I cannot thank you enough for getting me here safely, not hurting nobody, not hurting myself. Yeah, I, d I pulled a fast one, but I got here because of God. And then my husband came here, and it was empty. There was no any freaking freeze in that car. Before I buy this car from my boss, shit's got to be fixed on it because it's, it's fucked up. Let's put it that way. It's a nice looking car. It's a Ford Focus 2014. And I'm very grateful. Don't get me wrong. My boss don't have to do shit for me. So he is helping me out. I'm never not grateful to my boss. No, never, never, never. He is a wonderful man. He is a wonderful man. I mean, sometimes 
and get some letters because he said some that hurt my feelings. The last time he talked to me, and I think he thought about it, that's when he offered me this car to buy off of him. And he didn't even tell me. He talked to my husband about it. Probably because I talked too much. I told him before and I joke about it. I know I talk too much. He's too busy to hear me go on and on and on and on about shit. Especially he's moving. And he told my husband he didn't realize moving would be that stressful and that much. He Moving out of a mansion, moving into another mansion, his... Everything him and his wife do, great taste, great decor, and they're immaculate, good, clean people. So, yeah. So, I can just imagine how much shit's been going on. But, yeah. So, that car, once it's fixed, it'll be good. And it needs to be clean. I don't know how dirty those guys. That's another thing I'm going to go do. Go spray the, the driver's seat down. Before I get in, it's just absolutely filthy. It's nasty. Ugh. The people I work with, why are you so dirty? And leave windows open and it's just, it's just filth. Filth that car is. I'm looking at this bird. It's a hawk flying. Excuse me. So, yeah, I've let you guys down with the stores. But I got you. Either Monday or Tuesday. I'm off. Yeah, I'm off both days. You know what? I'm going to keep it off. Because I might go dumpster diving and show you guys something. I'm a good dumpster diver. When I do dumpster dive, I am good. I get good stuff. And I like Aldi where Amy's husband goes. Like You know, the Aldi. Because, and I haven't got it in a long time. Is I would get like three or four packages of bacon and make them all at one time. And then we could keep it in our refrigerator and just microwave it up then afterwards or whatever you know for the next day to make sandwiches out of or whatever and I kept that bacon grease I never kept bacon grease before but making that much bacon I had a lot of bacon grease and little pe pe chunks of bacon that makes your food it's good flavoring I got about this much in a glass jar I've kept I've never done that before, but if you run out of oil, wear, that's just good to have. So, yeah. I should put a little bit in my corned beef and cabbage. I bet you that'll make that taste good. And that's another thing. I hope my husband's not staying overnight, but he may because he hasn't had a chance to run his car. I go, I got the corned beef and the carrots. I forgot the cabbage. And he's supposed to use potatoes, too. But my family, went, I got sweet potatoes. So I'll make them, because I don't care for the corned beef. I'll eat the cabbage, sweet potatoes, and carrots. I don't like corned beef. I don't like meat that much. I like chicken. I'll make me shrimp. I got, ooh. I got shrimp, good shrimp from Walmart. Their version is like Sam's Club. Big jumbo shrimp, breaded. Oh, my God, you guys. It's really good. I think that's what I'm gonna eat. I, I'm, that's what I'm gonna eat when I go home tonight. I'm gonna fry me up some shrimp. Feed the cats first. I got them. Uh, I got two cans, but I'm gonna give them one today and one tomorrow of uh, salmon. The kind you can make patties with. They all just love salmon. It's so good for them. I wish I had just salmon tuna. And chicken and just good meat to give them out them. That's why I need to start going dumpster diving again. Because if I do, who knows what I'm going to find in all these and everything else. Like I said, this is what I stress to you guys, dumpster diving. I do everything. There's, It's called hustling in life. Because we need to make it out there, and times are really bad. They're worse than ever. And if you dumpster dive, I'm telling you, if you get, a lot of times they'll throw out real expensive meat in these stores and Aldi's and grocery stores, guys. And it's the meat's got a little hole in it because somebody poked a hole in the store. People, women and men, are so dumb. You're cooking that meat. 
You're cooking any germs or bacteria out of that. Do you know if you've seen where it came from? You ain't going to worry about the little package getting a hole in it. Are you kidding me? Don't be stupid, people. You're cooking, if you ever dumpster dive, you're cooking the germs and bacteria out of that meat. If you find some in a dumpster, I found packages of steaks. I found the best roast beef I've ever had for two roast beefs from Aldi Dumpster. They were $25 a piece. They were the best. They were Angus roast beefs. They were the best roast beefs I've ever had. And yeah, so that was like $25. So $50? Are you kidding me? That I don't got to spend? And I can feed my family good meat? Are you kidding me? Yeah. And I need to find me some bacon at Aldi. So I think I'm going to go dumpster diving on Monday and Tuesday. If I can't take this car and it worries me that it's going to be overheating, I'll take my mother-in-law's car. I'll smack her in the face and say, shut up. No, but I, I do need to go dumpster because you just don't know what you find. And then you find paper products. You find toilet paper. I'm going to give you guys the 911 on how stores operate. A lot of people who dumpster dive or go get things don't understand this. If a store, any kind of store, CVS or whatever, has a package like they, you would wonder why they would throw toilet paper or paper towels away. If it has a rip in it, they can't sell it like that. Sometimes they'll sell it for a discounted price, but they don't because by marking it off, and throwing it away, they'll get full price for it. Unlike marking it down and selling it for less to us, they don't. That's not worth their time. That's why you see so many things in a dumpster. So that's why you'll find things like paper towel, toilet paper full boxes or whatever in the dumpster because it has a hole in it a lot of times or meat or things like that so yeah and that's when it's worth to take that's when you score good so yes so I just wanted to let you guys know like that because I've worked in retail a lot of years of my life and I know I know what I'm talking about um, like like Dollar Tree and I, I wanted to jump to the screen so many times and tell Amy that, yeah, I was, because I have friends that worked at Dollar Tree Managers, management, they will throw whole boxes away because one thing in there leaks because they don't have the time, they have so much stock, and it's a sin, it's a waste to wash all the other shit off that, like, like say, let's say they got a box of shampoo and one or two of them leaked on everything and the other stuff's all fine. They don't have that time to wash the other shit off and to salvage it, so they just throw the whole box away, which is stupid. But that's where you come in and score and score good. You can get, you know, so, so many times I've gotten uh, uh, Windex, their version of Windex soap because... I'm telling you guys, all that stuff that comes from China, you know, China or whatever, none of the lids are on it. Look, next time you go in Dollar Tree, go by the soap and um, the soap aisle and uh, laundry soap. And feel the lids. Half the lids, more than half the lids are just already almost coming off. And, that, and that's another forewarning to you guys. Tips and tricks. In any store you go to, Make sure your dish soap, all your lids, your laundry soaps, whatever, any kind of lid of any kind when you go to stores is on. Because I'm telling you, how many times have I got stuff home and, and dish soap was all over my groceries and stuff like that? Yeah. Yeah. You need to make sure your lids are on everything, guys. So, yeah, people don't realize that. And, and, and they'll, they'll throw, like, a whole box of glasses away. One or two is broke. They don't want to go through that and cut their hands. So I just rather mark off the whole box. That's where it comes in that we can rescue it, save it, resell it, repurpose it, whatever. That's the name of the game. But I wanted to give you guys a heads up about that. Talk to you a little bit, you know about jobs and stuff like that and um, like you know dumpster diving and 
give you guys ideas to what I know from learning from years of working in all these different places. So, yes. Uh, and telling you how busy I've been. Oh, my Lord in heaven. But I, I'll do another video after. I just wanted to touch base with you beautiful, beautiful people. Lisa sharing life stories with you. I love you all. Maybe, I, too, I gave you guys a couple tips today. And that may help some people understand or when they dumpster dive hey that might that meat long as it, it tastes smells all right whatever it's got a little hole in it it's going to be safe to eat it is trust me lisa sharing life stories with you you guys have a great day check back with me after i'm going to probably have multiple videos coming up today have a beautiful day love you guys bye